the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everyone. We say all together, you are so lovely. You are so lovely, everyone. As a priest, I am uh, for 22 years. I have met lots of uh, young people, especially young couple, and uh, those who wish it to be you know, the married at the church. So I remember sometimes I asked them, the individual sometimes, or collective together. And my uh, principal question was, uh, How do you think? Who wants to be your your future husband or wife? Would you like to uh, explain or describe what? Which person do you want? One lady said, first uh, should be handsome. Well done. <laughs> Second, if possible, be rich. And a chapter chapter. Okay, yeah. At the end of a uh, conversation, I asked her, How about you? If you want to find somebody who is uh, honest, you want to, uh, you know, to receive many things from the other person uh, with a heart. The other person, obviously, want the same things, you think? What does it mean? means when we love one another, this is so difficult. Even though God has created it with his image, I mean, you know, the beautiful spirit and mind and soul. But most of the times, our spirit and soul is very, you know, the, we say, uh, selfish. Find just the uh, own, you know, the desire, own happiness. Even though we say, I love you forever, but next day after the holy matrimony, who wants to make the you know, first copy? You, you. <laughs> this is our life. Today, God wants to give us his uh, beautiful things, especially his heart. Think about Jesus when he came here, was born in a manger. Nothing to do. We are now waiting for the Christmas. Nothing happened, but our heart, something, you know, the waiting, in the, you know, the, it's very ardent to, to remember to think uh, about Jesus was born in our life. Today's readings, two uh, heroes, which we know very well, two widows. One is uh, who offered just uh, you know, the very uh, a pure bread and a pure oil, which she wanted to make even the bread and eat with her son, and she wanted to die because the life was so hard. But Elias said, Please give me that bread and oil which you have, a small portion. Probably she was very upset because this is the last one. Last one, how, how can I should do? I just wanted to eat with my son and I shall die. But she did. The scripture said the woman went and did as Eliza told her. And they 
ate the food she himself and her son. And the other widow in the Holy Gospel, Jesus saw how many people offered opportunity. We know, no? Rich people, many, so many of you know, the money, from their money, they, you know, the small amount of food. So it seems like uh, it's, a, it's a good donation. But this widow has nothing, just uh, two pennies, probably equivalent today. I'm not sure, but 10, 10 pounds or 20 pounds, probably, something like that. If he has not this, you know, 10 or 20 pounds, probably tomorrow she will be past no food. But she offered all the things. Now, let me see. How about my heart? How about your heart? We cannot do or to be honest with our will, with our desire, with our prayer, but with the help of God. As we have heard the collection, the collection said, collected, I'm sorry, the collector said, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. If you want to be honest, if you want to be happy, if you want to be in the kingdom of God, you must be belong to Jesus' life. That is the key point. You cannot be honest without help of God, without the word of Jesus Christ. You cannot be happy with your wife or with your husband, with your children, with your parents, with your, we say, best friends. No. Till some point, bro. But with the help of God, with the word of Jesus Christ, with the fire of the Holy Spirit, you will be okay. Everyone wants to be honest. But sometimes not. Everyone wants other people should be honest. But in this society, not easy to see many people how you know, they are honest. Because lacking of the presence of God in their life, we are within the love of Jesus Christ. We are listening to the word of God. This word of God is alive now and touch your heart even though your heart or something is wrong or cannot understand. But I'm sure your heart will be happy because this word of God is right. And also you will be happy too because this uh, rotting body one day receive the holy body and blood of Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, through this example of uh, two widows, God wants to donate his uh, divine life. So we just say yes with our heart. I believe in God. I believe in the name of Jesus Christ, I believe in the Holy Spirit.